podcast, but I want to share a story. <clears throat> My aunt um, has been on drugs for as long as I've known, okay? And she used to be like, you know, I'm a crackhead. I know I'm a crackhead. Because that's what we called her. I don't really think she was on crack, but, you know, the behavior is all the same. Sometimes. <clears throat> and I felt like she did that as a means to just get people to back off about talking about her addiction. And in a way, like, it created this false sense of confidence that makes you think, oh, okay, I'm not going to try her. Because... I don't know where she's at today. But my thing was, and I've said it before, I've said it, <clears throat> okay, what are you doing about it? Because you talking to me about it isn't you doing anything about it. That's you trying to stand behind the fear. You know, you're using fear to, to bolster your confidence, this false sense of confidence, because it's not really confidence, it's fear. You really don't want me to talk about it, so that's why you're coming at me the way you're coming at me. If you're doing something about it, then you don't have to say anything about it. And then we don't even really have to speak to it. Or if we do speak to it, I'm going to speak to it in an encouraging way. Because you're doing something about it. And you won't have to tell me what you're doing. Because I'll see it. Actions speak louder than words.